Holy heck, we just got out of Logan. That's the second sequel in the Wolverine series, the ninth in the X-Men series. And if you count Deadpool, it's the tenth, but who's counting that? That's way out of this series' this league. Logan tells the story of Wolverine. He's an aging mutant. Uh, he can't heal as well as he used to. And he's helping out Xavier, who is getting really sick. And he meets uh, Laura along the way, who is a mutant with similar powers to Wolverine. Uh, there's a lot more to it. I don't want to go in too much in depth because I don't want to spoil it for you. Logan, what did you do? Charles, the world is not the same as it was. Mutants. They're gone now. But what do we think? So is it any good? I thought it was amazing. Um, it's a huge yes from me. Uh, it's brutal as shit. Um, there's a lot of violence. There's a lot of cutting off heads. There's a lot of stabbings. Uh, Wolverine's definitely at his craziest that he's ever been. Um, what are some highlights? Go to you, Caleb. Definitely the violence in this one. You can definitely feel the MA rating in this one. R for you guys in the United States. And I feel like the Fox have really found their niche here with the violent movies here. It helps, it tells the story, it propels the story along. And I think that it just really escalates the movie to another level. Yeah, it doesn't make it feel as prissy and clean as some of the other ones where they're all in spandex and, <laughs> you know, this one feels a bit more, yeah, it's brutal. It's beautifully br brutal. You it's, know, what, it's what a Wolverine movie should be. He yeah, has exactly. claws on the end of his hands. The other movies almost reminded me in a way of like, you know the Ninja Turtles movies where they've all got swords and nunchucks and fucking scythes and, and shit yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're punching with their hands. You have yeah. giant ass swords on your back. Cut some heads off. Yeah. Um, and that's what this movie does. There's a lot of decapitations, a lot of blood. How does this change it from the rest of the series? Like, do you think it, it, it's not really a continuation of the other films. It's almost like its own new leaf and it's taken it on its own new almost like a world in itself because it doesn't feel like the rest of the x-men movies it's it's no, dark it's gloomy there's no mutants different. alive um it's kind of like deadpool with a beard he just you know it's, it's that brutal it doesn't feel anything like you know when you see him just dressed normally with like a normal beard it's it's feels a bit more grounded in reality rather than you know the spandex wearing stuff it's it's a lot more I've heard that twice from you now. What know, spandex know, movie are you talking about? about? Oh, the, other, the fucking originals. It's, it's annoying. <laughs> uh, Jared, what do you think? Give us some, give us some insight. Uh, from the Jared I like the fact that it didn't really feel like a superhero movie at all. Yep. Like even more so than Deadpool, this feels like its own thing. If they weren't, if he didn't have claws in the end of his hand, it'd be like a western. Yeah, that's very modern, true. Modern yeah. western. The interplay between Xavier and Wolverine is awesome. Uh, Patrick Stewart has never been better in this role. Oh, sweary Patrick Stewart oh, is the best. It's, it's, <laughs> when you hear them both yeah. swearing at each other, I it's, love it. Yeah. Just a grouchy old man. Yeah, it really um, is. Also, also very senile too, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, which, he play, which he played up as well, which is nice. That's how you want your superhero yeah. heroes, isn't it? I think, yeah. I think that was my favourite part about uh, Patrick Stewart in this movie, because he is, he's Professor X. He's got the world's most powerful mind in this universe and this movie really starts to explore what happens when that mind starts to go on him as he they say quickly that he has alzheimer's he's starting to lose his powers and that and we really get a great character arc with him where he's starting to lose his powers he's not completely in control of them he's having seizures and i think it's the first movie where we've really felt character arcs for everyone involved they start in one place and they end completely in a different spot and i think that this movie did that really well so what was everyone's best bits Oh, I think just watching uh, X-23 kick ass mm -hmm. was just crazy. It was kind of like uh, watching Lee on The Professional, you know, when Matilda Teaching gets the skills. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like she's, she wasn't even taught it. She just has this skill and she can just tear people apart. <laughs> I think that was almost my favorite part too, but it was, it was the combined use of Wolverine and X-23 together. Like they're, oh, yeah. uh, when they teamed up and they were just brutally assaulting people's heads with their claws and uh, ripping out limbs and stuff like Spoiler. that. Just, they both have claws. It's a violent movie. Put two and two together. You when know she jumps shit's off his happen. back, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. yeah that it. was awesome. That was a fucking great part. Um, yeah, that's my favorite part. I think when we figure out exactly what Laura is in this uh, world, where it's sort of alluded to in the beginning, like, oh, yeah, she is a mutant, but we're not made privy exactly what she is. And I think the moment where we find out what she is and what she can do, that's really the turning point of the movie, for me anyway. And it just, it gives you these holy shit moments when <laughs> you watch this little girl doing the things that she does in this movie. Yeah. 
and uh, I was sitting in my seat and I was just eating up every moment of it. I, I loved it. Yeah. Great performance by the by the girl. Um, Daphne, I'm not sure what her last name is, but it's yeah. a, a s majority of it is silent too, so it's only like through her expressions basically that you get the whole the whole deal behind this this tiny ball of rage. Expressions and ripping people's heads off. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, well, Logan is just about to hit cinemas next Thursday on the 2nd of March uh, in the States. I believe it's the 3rd of March. Whoever you're going to see it with, just make sure they love superhero movies and a little bit of violence because this one's full of it. Um, and that's all of us from So Is It Any Good. We got a big yes for this movie. It's for Logan. And until next time, make sure you're checking out movies because we'll probably be in the cinema with you. Um, not in a creepy it. way. Not, not, a, cre not, not in a creepy way. Just Massaging. Like a little, like, yeah, a little foot rub. Yeah, <laughs>